Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Illahome. This is their 5.5 millimeter 1080p dual lens endoscope, and this is really great for people who work in, say, uh, a, me a mechanic or a plumber, and you need to get in and check out uh, something in a tight spot. This has a dual lenses and LEDs to illuminate your way. We're going to check it out now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what you get once you get everything out of the box. You're going to get the main unit itself, of course, and you are going to get this nice carry slash storage case that Illahome includes, uh, which is always welcome to see because that way in between uses, you can store this away, uh, keep it safe, and uh, protect it from the elements. Now inside this zippered case here, you've got a couple different pockets here where you can keep other things, tools maybe, that you will be taking on jobs with you. Uh, you do get a bunch of stuff up here that we do want to cover uh, just so you can see what comes with it. But nice case overall, and I'm glad that they include it. Uh, so we're going to put that to the side. Now, taking a look at some of the extras, the first thing that they give you is a 32 gigabyte micro SD card for uh, using in the unit. And you can see on the bottom of the unit here, there is a slot for a micro SD card. So we're going to use that in the demonstration. Now you do get a charge cable here. It's a standard USB type A to micro USB. Uh, and this will recharge the 3800 milliamp battery that's in here. Takes a few hours to recharge and you can get up to four to five hours of constant usage. You can plug this into any laptops, USB, or you can use an AC to USB adapter. Now we do get uh, some extensions for the uh, probe here or the endoscope cord that goes on the end. And these are uh, going to be helpful in certain situations. We do get a magnetic attachment here. So if there's anything magnetic that we do need to pick up, we can with that. You get a hook attachment. So if you do find something that you need to grab, uh, this hook attachment will uh, come in handy as well. Uh, so you do have those there and they will come in handy depending on your situation. Now we do get a user guide for this. It comes in many different languages. Uh, it isn't micro print, so it's not gonna be impossible to read. Uh, it's well laid out, goes over all of your functions uh, and buttons here for this. Uh, so let me uh, put that to the side and take a look at the main unit. Now we do have a 4.5 inch IPS display, which is really nice. Uh, step up from the normal LCD uh, TN displays that we see on here. It has a resolution of uh, 1920 by 1080. We do have a focal distance of uh, one to four inches on here as well. Uh, so you know you'll be able to see those tight spots. Uh, the battery endurance, uh, they rate it at two to three hours of constant usage. Uh, you can get a little bit more out of that I have found in my testing. Up on the top here, you have a built-in LED in the unit itself to use as a flashlight. On the bottom, you have your charge port and your micro SD card slot uh, for taking pictures uh, and snapping them quickly. Uh, you can see you've got your buttons here for your mode, your LED, uh, a navigation button, an OK button, and a picture button here as well as your settings button up top. It's got a nice ergonomic design, feels good in the hand uh, and easy to hold. Now we do have a 16.5 foot cable here, which is uh, attached to the unit. Uh, I don't believe that it is removable. Uh, it is semi-rigid, so it is posable. There are six LED lights on the front camera and a single LED light on the side camera. So there are two cameras built into the probe itself. Now the probe is IP68 waterproof, which means you can use this in wet or underwater environments. Okay, so holding down the power button here on the front will fire this up and you will see a green LED letting you know you have power. Uh, Illahome splash screen there. Uh, starting off in dual uh, probe mode or dual camera mode, you can see that I can see from the front and I can also see from the side camera 
at the same time on the screen, which is very helpful if you're trying to get multiple views of something uh, inside a tight area. Uh, so that is very cool. I like the fact that there are multiple cameras here. Uh, switching this mode will, uh, or the M button down in the bottom right, will switch you to the front camera and then to the side camera. And then if you wanna go a third time, you can switch to that dual camera mode. So you can view both. This is a 4.5 inch IPS display that looks really, really nice. Again, a nice upgrade from the usual TN screens that we see on a lot of units. Okay, so taking a look at my subject here, you can see we can get in a really closely. Now your focal distance is gonna be uh, four centimeters to 10 centimeters or a one to four inches. Uh, so you can get in uh, very close uh, to check out your details. Uh, you can also adjust the brightness here uh, with the click of a button. You can see that I have three levels of brightness and off. And then if we switch the mode to the side camera, we can also adjust uh, the side LED uh, as well. Now, when it's in dual mode and you hit the brightness, you're going to be able to adjust both LEDs at the same time. So that is pretty handy. Uh, being able to take pictures here uh, is a very simple, easy process. The blue button in the middle will allow me to snap pictures and save to my SD card uh, so that I can view them later uh, to look at any details that may be relevant. We can also flip our image here, which is a very handy using the up and down arrows. Uh, we also have that ability. So if you are in a tight spot and you need to flip the, or rotate the image, you can see that we can easily do that by uh, using the down arrow key uh, very quickly and very easily. Looking at some of the uh, setup features that we have here, we do have our photos and videos. If we go into photos, we can check the photos that we took and you can see that the photo comes out really, really clear. And again, on this IPS display, it looks really good, sharp and clear. So if you're looking for details, you're not going to have to look too much further than this. Uh, you can also take videos with this as well. Uh, you can change your resolution and you can change your res resolution from 1080p all the way down to 480p. Uh, so you do have three modes for that. Uh, you do have a bunch of different languages here as well to set with this. So if English isn't your first language, you can set this. As you can see, there are a ton of different language options. For the purpose of this video, I will reset this back to English and continue on for you. Now you can go down to brightness here and there is a brightness uh, setting that you can set. Uh, so you can uh, brighten the screen itself if you want. Uh, and uh, hitting the up arrow, by the way, also will zoom in your image. Uh, so if you need to zoom in on an image, you can do that as well. You can change your time setting, timestamp, your formatting of your uh, SD card. So we can do that real quickly to just to show you how that works. And then you will also have some system settings like resetting the system to factory, uh, looking at how much storage you have left and your software version. So that about rounds it up for the 5.5 millimeter dual lens endoscope by Illahome. I really do uh, appreciate uh, the screen vibrance because it is IPS instead of TN. I do like the dual screen modes that you have with this. So if you need to look at uh, multiple angles at the same time, you can. Being able to save everything to a micro SD card so that you can uh, you know, transfer it to your PC very easily uh, or another device uh, makes this very, very uh, easy to use. Uh, it's got overall just a nice form factor that is uh, very comfortable to hold. And it's got a 16 and a half foot probe on it that is waterproof. If you're looking for a, a dual lens endoscope, you may want to check this one out. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review and I'll check you guys out on the next one.